you know, about 20 years ago, there's a big, big thing about sub repressed memory. You heard about that? Repressed memory. Repressed memory means that when you have trauma of sexual abuse, it was repressed into subconsciousness, unconsciousness, but you're so symptoms about that. You're thinking about putting on weight, gaining, gaining weight, and uh, uh, sexual public security, or all kinds of problems. So at that time, it's fashionable for psychologists or psychotherapists to say, ah, you show your symptoms, you must have been abused by it. <laughs> okay, we have about five minutes, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I have to continue in the next session, okay? Uh, so you must be you, you must be uh, 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 abused. So they have good meeting, good therapy. One by one, they all recall. Oh yeah, I was abused by my grandfather when she faced me. She touched my private part. Oh, I was abused by my father. So what happened at that time? Many innocent men were charged with sex abuse. And later on, they discovered that it's really, the idea was fed into them by the psychologist or by other group members. But, but having said that, it is still true that all kinds of traumatic memories, traumatic memories are repressed. If those feelings are not brought to consciousness, not dealt with, you have a physical problem, you have psychological problems. Okay? So one thing to know yourself is to know, your, know the unresolved issue in conscious mind. So I'll